Hey Lou. How you doing? I'm glad to see you on the Trump train. Oh, definitely. Trump. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Trump, 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 Trump. I gotta tell you, you know, I uh, Trump isn't. You know, he's the best of the worst right, out there. Right. Right. Okay. I don't trust any of these. But all I can tell you is where we are now. Here's a dollar bill. Ah, it's a big dollar. Okay, a big dollar. It's okay to make a copy as long as it's... Not the right side. Not the right side. Now, for you American people out there that really don't pay attention to politics, as on the Hillary bandwagon, and you want stuff for free, I just want to give you some facts. Okay, if you took a pair of scissors, okay, and you don't have to trust me, just go on to the government website. Here's a dollar bill. Half of it... Out of every dollar goes towards Social Security and medical benefits. Okay? You know, now that includes Obamacare, which is a big part of it. Now the people that paid into it, whether you you know, you were a low paid person or a high paid person, you paid into it. And every employee always right. made a matching contribution to Social Security. So Donald Trump would understand that okay if you paid a dollar into it he matched that with a dollar any of these politicians would never know that probably because they never had to run a business they never have to worry about making money okay when they make a mistake they raise your taxes unlike a businessman like Donald Trump he got to be right like 99.9% .9 of the time or he will put himself out of business that's just a fact. Now what happens is that you take another 10% away, okay? And that 10% is the military, okay? Which is getting smaller under the president that we have now, Obama. Okay, it's getting smaller and smaller that we might not be able to defend our own country if we're attacked here because we simply do not have enough boats and planes and soldiers anymore. Very sad. So it's left with about 40% of the money for all the things, the, the infrastructure, building roads right, and everything. Right. We can't keep running like that. Nah. Okay, now what happens is that you take another 10%. Mm -hmm. Think about this one. This will, you take another 10% away that's what we pay on the interest of the 19 plus trillion dollars that China. President Obama, okay, put us into debt. He, in his seven years, he accumulated more debt than any of the last presidents to George Washington. That's just a fact. So we're paying 10% of all the tax dollars collected, just interest, interest. Yeah. on the money that we owe. Unbelievable. Okay, so what happens is that we're not paying the principal back. So that means if it was Interest. like a credit card payment, if you keep making a minimum payment due, you're going to owe this for yeah, it's you even know, gonna go up. 18, yeah. 20 years. Sure. So what happens if everybody was employed and the tax rate was lower, that American companies stayed here and paid taxes because it was a reasonable tax rate, not like Every, all the other countries of the world, we'd have more money to pay this down. This is crazy. So even if you're on public assistance, this should infuriate you, okay? Because, you know, it, it's taking the money away from schools, from welfare programs, for after-school programs. 10%, 10 cents on every dollar just goes to pay the interest on the debt. What don't you understand about that? This is what's left for the American taxpayer. 30%. 30%. So if you don't see that, you'll never understand it, okay? And that's why this country is going right down the toilet. So keep going with your liberal stupid ideas of free stuff and everything. You'll bury the country. I don't have to worry about it. Lou don't have to worry about it. We'll be in the dirt. But all you young people, you better start getting up and protesting Okay, about this happening to you. 
there is nothing for free. You're going to pay for it one way or the other. But when the government gets involved in it, okay, instead of costing you a dollar, it'll cost you a dollar fifty. My last point is this thing, this one thing. Whenever did you hear of the government do anything that they plan to do? If they build a bridge, they tell you it'll be five billion dollars. It never comes out to be five billion dollars. No, usually, like you know, five it, times that amount. 10 billion and it takes 20 years to do it but donald trump being a businessman when he goes out to build something okay it's built on time right. it's built correctly okay and you know it's built within the budget they gave him a lot of times when i'm sure the second avenue subway 20 years yeah, Lou, yeah. five billion dollars and it leaks <laughs> okay and nobody is held accountable it. for it I know. now Yo, know, they talk about Donald Trump, he went bankrupt in a few businesses. Well, who came up with those laws? He didn't come up with the laws. Right, the government has. The senators came up with the laws. The congressmen, they're the ones that put those books on the law. So if you own a business, that's only a tool in your business to use. If you don't understand that and see where we're going, I can't make it any simpler.